Sometimes your mortgage payment can go up even though you have a fixed rate. What is the cause and what can you do about it? In this video, we're gonna go over your options. For most of you, your monthly mortgage payment includes principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. The principal and interest portion is to pay back the loan and the taxes and insurance portion is deposited into the escrow account. This is like a savings account for future tax and insurance payments. Now, the way your lender calculates how much is deposited into this account monthly is by taking your current annual property taxes and dividing it by 12, and that amount is what's added to your monthly payment. So this means after 12 payments, you'll have the exact amount needed to cover these payments as they become due. Now, as an example, if your insurance premium is 1,200 annually or 100 per month, and property taxes is 2,400 annually or 200 per month, then $300 of your payment will be deposited into this escrow account. Now let's get into that increase. Each year when you get your tax bill, your property tax tends to increase. Most of the time this is due to an increase in value, but sometimes we see taxes go up even when the values don't increase. As your property increases in value, it then becomes more expensive to insure it. If we're depositing the exact amount every month into the escrow account based on what the current property taxes and insurance is, then the bill comes in and it's higher. We don't quite have enough money in the escrow account to cover this. So your lender will go ahead and pay it anyway, which will cause an escrow shortage. When we were planning on taxes being 2,400 and the new bill came in at 2,700, that's a $300 shortage. We'll go over the options to make up this shortage in a moment. But remember how your payment included principal, interest, taxes, and insurance? Well, now the tax portion just increased $25 per month, which made your new payment $25 higher. Now we have to deal with that shortage. Your lender will mail you what's called an escrow analysis and give you a few options on how to take care of the escrow shortage. So option number one is you can send a payment in for the shortage. That would be 300 using the previous example. Option number two is you can take that shortage and you can divide it by 12 and add it to the next 12 monthly payments. Or using the example previously, that would be an additional $25 per month. But wait, didn't we already add $25 to the payment? Yes, we did. That was for the future property tax, right? This new $25 increase is because of the shortage. So now our payment includes principal, interest, the new higher amount for taxes, insurance, and the amount for the escrow shortage for the next 12 months for a total increase of $50 per month. Keep in mind that both taxes and insurance typically increase every year. And for this example, I only considered the tax increase to keep it simple. An insurance increase would cause the same shortage. So if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit the like button so we can share it with others. Thanks so much for watching.